concerns, and if there's any groups, uh, we ask that you appoint a spokesman for that group so that others might so that, to cut down on time. So at this time, are there any citizens to be heard? My name is Floyd Rose. I live at 4001 Foxborough Boulevard. Uh, my office is, of course, uh, at 1619 North Lee Street here in Valdosta. First of all, let me say that I uh, read a lot about what was going on with the Government 101, and I wanted to be a part of that. And I was told, of course, that I could not because I was not a resident of the city and that I lived in the county. And of course, I also understood that I could appear on one of the boards or commissions that you would appoint if I lived in the county. But I could not come to a class and understand how those boards and commissions worked because I didn't live in the city. And I was happy tonight to see my registered speak and that you adopted a new policy, number one. Number two, I went by the Board of Elections and I learned that the mayor and uh, the members of this council could run for office and not be subjected to a criminal background check. But if I wanted to learn how you would run this city, I had to submit to a criminal background check. That made no sense to me then. It makes no sense to me now, and I hope that you will look at it critically and change that policy just as you did the one that my register talked about. Thirdly, and I'll be done. I wrote the city manager and I received a letter from uh, Teresa Bolden, and she has always been very, very cooperative, and I appreciate that. But I asked about 2005 when some 15 of us were arrested and sent to the Lyons County Jail. I wanted to know how much money that this city had paid out taxpayers' money to the law firm that represented you. The information I got back was that, uh, well, you all paid out $15,000, and that was, um, of course, the deductible for the insurance policy that was paid to uh, the law firm. And you also told me that uh, you did not know how much money that insurance company paid. I'm sure you know that I know that you either know or can find out. There's no way you would uh, pay a deductible on money and not know how much money that was. My final comments are these. You know, all of you, that I was adamantly opposed because of the demographics, and only the demographics of this city opposed to naming a police chief that was not a minority. That was my position. However, after the police chief was named, that settled that issue for me and for members of the um, Valdosta Lyons County chapter of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. I have nothing but absolute praise for Brian Childress. He has been a real man. He reached out to me. He reached out to the NAACP. He arranged meetings with us. And he uh, began what I call a dialogue of understanding based on mutual respect. And I respect him for that. And I say to you, and I don't know if he's still here or not, but I say to you, he was a good choice. And I respect and admire that. I thank you 